Hi friends, welcome back to another Storytime Moments with Mimi. I'm so happy that you stopped by. We have another Thomas the Train book. So are you ready? Sit down. Helpful Thomas. Thomas' whistle is broken. He must have it fixed. Thomas is worried. He has never been to a mechanic before. Thomas chugs towards the repair shed. Around the bend, Percy has run off his track. Thomas pulls Percy back into position. Ahead sits Bertie. He's overheating. Thomas offers some water to Bertie so he can refill his radiator. As Thomas passes the docks, he sees Salty, Harvey, and Cranky hard at work. Thomas helps move the dockside cars until all the freight is unloaded. At Gordon's Hill, Henry struggles with a heavy train. Thomas helps push and Henry reaches the top of the hill. Thomas whistles as he passes the query. The troublesome trucks chuckle at the sound. Thomas almost forgot his whistle needed fixing. He feels worried again. Harold hovers above. There's a broken bridge ahead, he calls. Thomas hurries to get supplies and workers. At the bridge, Harold lowers wood towards a worker who doesn't see it coming. Uh-oh! Thomas' whistle is too weak to warn them. Luckily, the worker looks up in time. He might have been hurt because I put off fixing my whistle. Thanks, Thomas. Thomas heads straight to the repair shed. Will it hurt? He asks. It doesn't hurt, the mechanic replies. Your whistle is fixed already and you didn't feel a thing. I shouldn't have been afraid, Thomas tells Percy. The mechanic was only do going to help. Just like you helped me and all our friends, replied Percy. Helping others is important, Sir, Ho Sir Topham Hat agrees and it doesn't hurt a bit. Well, that was a great story. It was a little bit of a tongue twister, but we pushed through. Come back again for another Storytime Moments with Mimi. 